I'll end up here. Why is my mascara smudging today? Hello, my favorite people. Today I am doing a very highly requested video. So you know, the other day I uploaded my first impression on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I said how I think it's like a really good dupe for the YSL Foundation, which is one of my all time favorites. So today I'm going to actually be comparing the two in a half face tutorial. Well, not tutorial, like first impression, I guess. And I'll also swatch all the shades I have on me so you can see what they look like. I've only got like a small amount of fake tan on right now. So I'm might have to like custom mix a color to make it look really good. I just want to show you like how they compare and then we will do a wear test and see if they last like the same amount of time or if one's better than the other. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so before I prime, I'm just going to swatch each one for you. So the Fusion Ink Foundation by YSL, I feel like it might be discontinued in some countries and then it's still around in others because you can still get this from farmers. If you live in New Zealand, that's where I had to buy one because I wanted to get a lighter shade and it was ridiculously expensive but for me it was worth it because I really love this stuff and it lasts forever like I've used some of these to absolute death and there's still like quite a lot left so for me you know I could justify the price so on farmers this foundation is 101 <coughs> New Zealand dollars and then you can also get the wet n wild photo focus foundation from farmers for $12.99 or overseas I think it's like $5 or something like that so $12.99 New Zealand dollars versus 101 New Zealand dollars like that is an extreme difference. You could buy like nine or something instead of one of these. Not like you need nine, but anyway. So I'm just gonna swatch each one on my skin and you can see what the colors look like. So this is first the Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Soft Ivory. Make sure you shake this formula up too. Um, I really like this. In my first impression, some of you guys said the same thing as me, like it was amazing. And then some of you said it did not work for you. So make sure you check out my first impression and look up other reviews, of course. This shade here is Bronze beige the darker one these have such good undertones as well I'll link my first impression to both of these foundations down below I'm pretty sure I've got one on this one too and then I have three shades of the fusion ink foundation by YSL as you can see they've got very similar applicators so this shade here is B10 next is B30 as you can see those colors are very similar as well like this one's probably a hint darker than the YSL version and then the last one I have here is BD40 so both of these shades are definitely ones I use when I'm fake tanned. This one here actually looks more similar to the Wet n Wild shade. Look how like similar those undertones are as well. That's one thing I love about this YSL foundation is the undertone is so beautiful. Like it just matches really lovely. Even if it's like a little bit light or a little bit dark, the undertone is just so perfect that I can easily make it work. So those are all the shades. I'll also write them in order down below. Um, just in case you're interested, if you have a similar skin tone to me or like think it's gonna be similar to one of these shades, I don't know. I just thought it would be helpful maybe. So for this first impression it's obviously going to be first impression it's not really a first impression but it's obviously going to be a little bit different than normal I am going to prime my entire face because I already know that I like both of these foundations better with a primer today I'm going to use my J1 jelly pack primer um, I've already moisturized my skin like after I got out of the shower as you can see my hair is drying currently <laughs> hence the hair towel but I'm just applying this J1 jelly pack all over this is quite a sticky primer which works well with these formulas because they're so watery it really helps them to kind of stick in place and really yeah just adhere to your face rather than move around and go streaky okay we're all primed and ready to go so I'm going to first go into maybe this side of my face with the YSL and then at this side of my face with the wet n wild so I might have to mix a couple of shades together I'm starting with BD40 and I like to layer this foundation so I'll usually do two coats because it's quite buildable. And with this foundation, I use sponges, brushes, just like whatever. They all seem to work just as well as each other. So this is a flat face brush by EXO Beauty. And I just like to kind of stipple it first and then kind of blend. This color actually looks not bad <laughs> with my half fake tan skin. I think I've slightly got a bit of a natural tan underneath my fake tan at the moment because it's summer here in New Zealand. So I'm not as pale as normal. I'm still pale, but you know, I'm not as pale as normal. This foundation, you can often kind of see my freckles and everything through but I still love the way it looks like actually I don't even think I need another layer like look at that it's so beautiful 
beautiful. This foundation is so easy to blend and it really does last well on me normally. Hopefully it does today as well. We'll soon find out anyway when I do my updates later. Sometimes it sits a little bit funny on my nose so I usually have to like put a little bit of concealer over it but other than that I just love the way it looks. It's so velvety smooth and it looks so natural even though the coverage is really good. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a really heavy cakey base. I even got my friend into this who like doesn't really wear makeup because she just wanted something natural that she could just chuck on with her fingers and not really worry about it because it's so lightweight and fuss free you know. So now let's compare it to Bronze Beige by White. I mean Wet n Wild. I'm getting all tongue tied like YSL Wet n Wild like it kind of I don't know I'm just an idiot. So a little stick and then I'm just going to wipe off my brush and use the same brush and I apply it the exact same way. So the Wet n Wild foundation I've been using a lot lately since I did that first impression. I've probably oh, I don't even know how many times I've used it but been using it just in my day-to-day -day life and I really like it. This shade's definitely a little bit darker, isn't it? Might have to put a little bit of the paler one on so I don't look like completely different on both sides of my face. And look at that, like it's so stunning. I definitely recommend a primer with this foundation. It seems to like go on nicer and not go as streaky. But you can make it work without one if you don't like primer. This one seems to sit decently on my nose, but sometimes, like depends how exfoliated my face is. Sometimes I still need to kind of set it down with a bit of concealer to stop it from looking crap. So I'm just gonna have to go in with a little bit more product but just so you can see like the coverage with one pass it's still amazing. Obviously it's gonna add more coverage since I have to use a bit more product just to lighten it up. But you can see how each side looks. Very similar. Actually before I lighten it up let me just zoom you in so you can see the texture. So here's the YSL side. Like it still looks like skin. It's so beautiful. And then the wet and wild side which is just as beautiful. Like I think it's so good for the price. It's a really good dupe. So just using some of the shade in Soft Ivory to lighten this side up a little bit because it looks like quite dramatically different like both sides of my face right now. Okay, now we are looking a little bit more even side to side and it's kind of interesting just so you can see how buildable it is. Like look how full coverage that is now. I almost feel like I should add a little bit more on the other side just to make it look even because the side's like less coverage now. So I want it to be a fair review. So we'll do one more layer of the YSL just so it's completely fair. Okay, so now I'm going to go do my concealer and um, powder and stuff off camera and I'll pop back just so you can see how it looks finished and then we will see how it goes throughout the day. 12 seconds later. Okay, I'm back. So I've set my foundation and set under my eyes. I'm actually using a different powder today. So this looks a little bit different to how I would normally wear it. Normally I use a matte powder. But today I'm trying out some Winky Lux makeup in a different video, which you'll see soon. Um, and this is like a diamond powder. It's got like a little bit of shimmer through it. So it's a little bit shimmery but I mean it's still gonna show us how the foundation is going to last throughout the day and you can kind of get an idea of how it looks. So now the battle is on we'll see which side looks the best by the end of the day. So before I head off like obviously I'll show you how this looks by the end of the day and we'll see which side looks better by the end of the day. I just want to compare each product so you know what you're getting. So with the Wet n Wild you get 30 ml which is one fluid ounce. It is cruelty free and then with the YSL you are getting 25 ml which is is 0.84 fluid ounce. So you actually get more with the YSL one. And I feel like for each side of your face, you're using a very similar, you know, amount of product between different brands. So it's not like you have to use way more of this one than this one. Like it's very similar. The actual packaging, obviously the YSL is always going to be a little bit nicer. This is in a glass bottle with a plastic lid. It's a little bit of a tacky lid. Like it feels quite like plasticky. The YSL one, I don't really necessarily love the way the cap works. You kind of pull it off and then you have to unscrew it. And then you have your little dipstick thing. The Wet n Wild one you just unscrew and then you have your little stick. The stick on the YSL one is definitely quite a lot larger. I actually think I prefer the YSL stick. It's a little bit easier to use and you get more of an even distribution of product across your face rather than this one is like a little pointy thing and it kind of doesn't really matter but this one's just easier. Also even though the Wet n Wild one doesn't look as impressive as the YSL it is a lot smaller to chuck in your travel makeup bag or whatever like the YSL one's definitely a lot larger and takes up more room. The Wet n Wild one is definitely heavier than the YSL um, if that matters to you. So it is currently 11 a.m. I will come talk to you guys later on. I'll show you how it wears throughout the day and we'll see which side wins regardless seriously these are such good dupes the finish is like almost identical three hours later hey guys so it's only been about three hours but i thought i would show you an update real quick i just did a lip swatch video so i've actually got like 
cheeky concealer right around my lip line so ignore that but you can see the rest of my makeup this is the YSL side and the Wet n Wild side so both sides are looking amazing and very similar as well like the texture of my skin the way it's sitting on my face it looks almost identical on both sides hey guys so my foundation has smudged a little bit I mean not my foundation my mascara under my eye but we'll just pretend like that's not happening we'll end up here why is my mascara smudging today? Anyway, I'm about to go to the gym. So, you know, it's gonna put this to the test. I don't normally wear this to the gym, so I don't really know how it's gonna perform. So I thought I'd better come on now, just so you can see how they're both wearing. They're both wearing amazing. As I already know, like, I love both of these foundations, but as you can see, like, they still look identical. They're still amazing dupes for each other. So I'll just come back in a bit and I'll let you guys know how it is after the gym, before I go to bed and stuff. To be honest, once I get back from the gym, um, and walk the dogs and everything, I'll probably be ready to shower it off no matter what time it is. But anyway, I'll see you soon. Two thousand years later. Hey guys, so this is where I'm gonna end the video. It's 8.30, got back from the gym, had some dinner, this pimple. Oh my gosh, it's so painful. It's like raging right now. Look at that. I need to go take off my makeup. So this is where I'm ending the video. As you can see, like, oh, look how amazing that looks. I didn't have like an uber sweaty workout session today because I decided not to do cardio. I just did like just weight training today, which still made me sweat, but not as much as if I am a going ham on the elliptical. So keep that in mind. I don't know how it lasts through like hard out sweating, but it still lasted through a little bit of sweating It's a little bit faded like in my mustache area where I sweat the most, but I mean it still looks okay This foundation's amazing. I love it. There's the YSL and there's the Wet n Wild You could even argue that the Wet n Wild lasted a little bit better. What do you guys think? Let me know what you thought of this video and let me know if you want more videos like this whenever I think I've found dupes if you've not tried it yet, I definitely suggest giving it a go. I guess if it doesn't end up working out for you, at least it's only like, what, five to twelve dollars, depending where you live. It's not too bad, but of course, just check some reviews on Google, check the comments in my previous Wet n Wild first impression, because heaps of people wrote reviews on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see for my next videos, because I will be pre-filming in the next couple of weeks, because I am off to, well, I'm off to the Maldives first, and then I go off to Fiji after that. So I'm pre-filming a few videos. Let me know what you want to see and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!